Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Oaken, a turn-based tactics roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out the 1.0 release for here today. I played this almost two years ago at this point, and I really enjoyed it, so I'm curious to see how the game has progressed in that time. Because if I already liked it then, it can only be quite good now. So in we go. The Blooming. The lady has finally awakened, but found herself surrounded by aggressive spirits. Luckily, the Pathfinder's here to help. Defeat all of the enemies. We need to defeat these wild spirits. This is you, the lady. The icons below your figure are your attack and your health. You will lose when your health drops to zero. Yeah. Units can move once per turn, choosing a direction that they'll be facing at the same time. Units can also attack once per turn, but they won't be able to move afterwards. So select your figurine and move to the highlighted hex. You can always cancel an action with right click. So yeah, I do... Okay, so we can choose where we're facing, which I believe is going to be important in where we can, like, counterattack, attack, and also where we are vulnerable. So, like, if they can attack us from behind, we don't counterattack back. I remember the last time I played this, a big game that I found, in, uh, like, kind of similarities with this one is actually Duelist, which is a game that I adore, adore. Uh, deal four damage to a unit in your line of sight. Let's go ahead and pop that one, I suppose. Nice shot. Using cards and skills will drain up your Lumi, but its pool refills and grows larger each turn. There's no more actions you can take, so it's time to end. Each unit has a frontal arc, which shows the possible directions of the attack. Be careful not to leave your back exposed, because attacked units can counterattack, but not if they are attacked from behind. So, I guess maybe I can't counterattack? Maybe that's just the enemies? Always use the undo button if you make a mistake. But let's go on the offensive. Attack an enemy in your frontal arc. Well, the thing is... I guess I'll do this even though I have to get a counterattack. It's fine. Let's finish this. Summon me adjacent to an enemy and I'll send them where they belong. This is the thing. Because we can also summon units to help us. Up to two X's away. Defeat the remaining enemies with the Pathfinder's help. Pop you down. Face you that way. Oh, I think they had, like, an auto automatic uh, battle cry or on-spawn effect. Since this is your first time here, let me show you around. Remember that you can always send your feedback by using the report button. The Bloomin' Fields. This is the world map. Here you can track your journey down the oak. The wild spirits seem to be catching up, so I'll tell you the rest later. For now, let's scram. All right. Fight an easy battle to gain a wisp or a loomy globe. Listen, we need to establish, establish some rules if you're going to follow me. Even the most peaceful spirits are acting mad. You have to be very careful, so you shouldn't trust any. Oh, it's a tinker. So cute. Be right back. All right. This looks bad. Now we have nowhere to run. We need to stand our ground and defeat the incoming enemies. Previewing a unit will show you its abilities. You can find all the game's terms up here in the glossary. And turn on the secondary tooltips off in the menu. This battle has a bonus objective, complete side objectives to get bonus experience and rewards. Protect the scared Tinker. Tiny Tinker? Is it you? We have a wild Orbling. Alright, I'm assuming that you are indeed what I need to protect. So Stalker has plus one, plus one while on a green tile. It's just not a thing we have right now. Go ahead and slap that. Uses our Lumi, but it doesn't look like it uses our turn. Bring it on, punk. Assuming that we can indeed counterattack. And that they just didn't have us do that in the first spot because of the... Yeah, okay, looks like we did. We did two damage back. Burrows will summon hostile spirits on adjacent hexes. If the spawning area is blocked, enemies will be summoned further away. So that's a burrow, gotcha. On Awake, deals 3 damage to adjacent enemies. Ooh, including... No, not including us. It's because of the... We take, like, an AoE penalty. I'm willing to take some hits here. This guy explodes for 1 damage on death. Oh. Oh, I summoned the wrong one. That's on me. I can undo... Let's go ahead and do that then. Scoot that down. This is the one I meant to summon. 
Because he does an AoE effect on spawn. Because normally it looks like they do have a summoning sickness to him. And you better have the same thing. Hmm. Can this move? My assumption would be yes. Okay. We'll just get the kill there. I'd rather have him take the damage. Cool. Protected. Your rewards are a diligent wisp. Okay. Well, who would have thought that Tinker managed to catch a wisp? Let's open your deck and use it. This is your deck. It contains all the cards collected throughout the current run. During battles, you'll draw cards at the start of your turn until you have four in hand. This is where you can manage your inventory and upgrade your cards, as well as preview your spirits in their full three-dimensional glory. Speaking of upgrading, now that you have a Wisp, drag it onto a Spear to enhance it with a new ability and give it additional attack and health. Creates grass upon being summoned or moving. Okay, so yeah, that guy gets plus one when he's on grass. Good. Just in time, I can smell some wild spirits behind us. Let me just uh, adjust some stuff. All right, back we go. The first sight of the eclipse. Is there even any way to stop it? Cleanse the eclipsed terrain. To be able to go further, we need to cleanse this eclipse terrain. Keep in mind that levels may have different objectives, and this time we don't need to focus on defeating all the enemies. You now have access to skills. They cost a Lumi and can be used once per turn. Take notice of the environmental rules, because they can radically change how a level has to be played. Use your new skill and the seedling to cleanse the enemy terrain. Fills a frontal arc with grass. Okay, so we're going to want to move up here, I guess, to summon this. So the frontal arc gets begrassified. What does this do? I can't... Uh, it looks like I, I can only put grass kind of around me, generally. That's fine. You hero. Okay, so here's the here's the hope is that I can now pop it here. I can. Cool. I love when uh, turn-based tactics games have kind of like different objective levels like this. I think that that's neat. More are coming. Run. I'll get their attention. Broken Ridge. Got it. What? No. Oaken. Never mind. I'll find you. Just run. Think we lost him. Mr. Pathfinder gave us some unusual powder. Let's see what it's good for. Lumi Dust can be gained by completing battle objectives, creating Lumi, or collecting Lumi Crystals. You can use them to upgrade or spend it increasing the level of your spirits. So what do you get? Just some more stats. Is that what that was? Some particularly powerful foe is blocking a further path. Defeat the enemy hero. This enemy is a hero that can also use active skills just like you. To make matters worse, it's voiceless. It, it inflicts fatigue on dealing damage with attacks. Fatigue persists between battles and will reduce the max health of your units, but don't worry, it's removed at the end of each chapter. Oof. Okay, so I feel like um, going for the line of sight blast is probably good. Fortunately, you have a guide, powerful spirit that accompanies uh, you and on your journey and provides you with a unique trinket and skill. Trinkets are rare items that give you and your units passive abilities. Enemies on grass tiles take one damage at the end of your turn. So yeah, that's what that... Okay. We have how much Lumi? We have three that we can spend... Ah, I wish you were lined up with me already. I could drop down the um, the seedling. Just to make it so we're a little bit more likely to... Um... I don't love it. I don't hate it. It protects us a bit more. Because otherwise, he's he is going to be able to move up to me and attack. 
Awake or advance rotates enemies in its line of sight towards itself. Interesting. Can also be summoned onto any unoccupied grass tile. Okay, so now, now I'm extra interested in popping this down. He's probably not going to move, but even if he attacks, then we do get a retaliatory three damage, which is nice. Okay. I would love to have it slapped you down. Oh, well. I wonder, do I get a retaliation if I have health, if I have one health left, even if it's going to be lethal? That's something I'm not aware of. Deal damage to a nearby enemy and create a void tile underneath them. Right here is our best bet for doing, like, extra damage. Hmm. I do like the idea of blocking him in. I just don't know. I don't want to take fatigue. Wait, what's... Oh, what's going on over here? Creates grass under enemies in slime sight. Deals up to two damage to them, increasing with distance. Oh, I don't have enough Illumi to do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... I could summon two things, though. Which I do like the idea of. I just fear the fatigue. I think rightfully. But I'm going to do it. I'll, I'll take a little bit if I gotta. That kills me. Well, it's the only guaranteed... It's the only guarantee I have that this three damage gets done. I don't know if he attacks, if I'm going to be able to retaliate, or if it's like, no, you... You lost your shot. Which would be, I think, fair. Okay. Oh, wait! We could have done that! Oh! Okay, so here's the thing. There's some big brain stuff we can do that I gotta get used to. We could have done that, turned you around, and we could have gotten a free attack. Wouldn't have had to worry about retaliation. Speaking of no retaliation, a spell is going to be a good way to just guarantee do damage. Thank you, Auntie. Auntie, I'm Maya, and that... Wait, aren't you the lady? Broke song you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I didn't even play you. You didn't help me at all. You've unlocked a new guide. Okay. I mean, they were five mana. I, I didn't even get there in time, man. Here's your rewards, a Lumi Globe. Use one to upgrade a spell or two to upgrade a skill. Be careful about that fatigue. When a unit's max health falls down to zero, it becomes exhausted and excluded from your deck for the rest of the chapter. You can heal fatigued and exhausted enemies by using the heal button, so let's do it now. Not too bad. The Eclipse Spirit also had a Lumi Globe, so let's try upgrading a spell with it. Choose one out of three upgrades. Four damage to a unit in your line of sight. Drain. It restores health to the caster. Ensnare the target or push the enemy away. I'll go for the drain. That sounds interesting. Seems like you got it, Sprout. Let's get back to the map. Sure. Back to the map we go. There's a lot here in, a, in an exciting way. During events, you can choose the outcome you'd like the most. Choosing better rewards usually means receiving some fatigue. Uh... Receive a seedling, a stalker, or search the whole area for both. I don't know if I even want both that desperately. Eh, whatever. I'll take it. I mean, the thing is, we have a, such a small deck, and it's limited, so maybe it is important to have more, because otherwise if we run out of stuff, then we just don't have material for the board at a certain point. Let's see who the better shooter is. Defeat all the enemies, use carvings at least three times. Some enemies can shoot from afar, so avoid staying in their line of sight. You can also use carvings to reach them quickly or prepare for their attacks. Has an extra move. Deal more damage with attacks. Ooh. Let's find out about retaliation. There is indeed confirmed retaliation. Could I go back? 
Okay, I like that I can go back. So what I will do is I will move here. I shall... Turn your attention this in way so that I can get a free attack with no retaliation. It does make you extraordinarily vulnerable, but you also can't die this turn at the very least. Okay. I could do a... Ooh, man. Yeah, these movement tiles are crazy with it. I the thing is if I attack here, I can't I can't whip you. But I might as well save the money for something else then. You have how much health? Okay. You just get the hell out of the way. Technically should be looking to the left. Just go ahead and drop these down. Corner you a bit more. I mean, let's get the used... Nope. Let's get the used carvings quest done and out of the way. They won't be able to attack immediately. And in fact, maybe I'll even get them to uh, turn towards this way and then I'll be able to move up or something. Maybe. Alright, so I will be able to counterattack. That is the nice thing. No matter what. Marking those so anybody who spawns will at least be taking some immediate damage is nice. Actually? It's kind of nice. We can really make our cho choice about exactly who we want to take damage when. They are in spots that are... Oh my god. Pretty tough to retaliate from. Uh, this is... F it's a free hit, but it also doesn't kill because you do not really... Oh, yeah, you do three damage. You only have one health, though. Okay, so this is fine. And then we, we would probably want to move you here to go for a smack. Long range, we even get a little bit of a heal out of it, potentially, if we needed it. Uh, and that's a kill. And we don't take fatigue from these hits. Restore yourself or a nearby unit health equal to the number of grass tiles adjacent. Let me show you your final trick. You can use destroy button to destroy unwanted cards and turn them into Lumi Dust. Try using it on your upgraded spell and you'll even get your Lumi Glow back. I don't really want to, but I'll do it. Because it's the end of a tutorial, so I can't imagine it'll be that big of a deal. Heal fatigue from a target if it regained health. Give the target strength. Wow. Huge damage. Equal to the amount healed. They do have to heal the amount, though. Speaking of. What does this use? For Lumi Dust? Whatever. We're moving towards the end. Defeat all enemies. Have at least five grass at the end of the battle. Sounds workable, doable. Try and cleanse the Eclipse terrain as it makes the enemy stalkers much stronger. If you take too much damage, you can use your new skill to regain some lost health. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. So if there's one spawning there, I don't really want to be by these too much. I could... The question is, like, should I move and take up that spot or not?
I just don't... I could get smacked by you. To an extent, I'd almost rather get smacked by you, because you're not going to be... Ooh. Fills the frontal arc with corruption on death, though. Oh, and you can just move twice. Has an extra move. That's what hastened will be. Good to know. Hmm. Plus two well on that. I mean, that's fine. I think we go for the hit, even though it... Loving the uh, the fact that we have undoes. I think we go for this hit. It's not my favorite, but it is fine. The fact that that is going to fill the arc. Because I can't kill you. You have three health. I can't kill you with my hero otherwise. So I would like to kill you and then immediately put down a seedling. That would be the most kind of ideal. Because we could also attack, take some damage, heal up, gain replenish. There's certainly something interesting there. Let's just get your attention so we can do this attack for free. I think I'll, I think I'll just kill you there. I think that'll be fine. Hmm. There we go. Do a little bit of extra damage. Sure, why not? That's kind of what I feared. Don't love that. Wait, do you did you attack everybody or you just attacked here? I think you just attacked here. All right, so we got two damage, which is just not quite enough. I could heal you. But I think... Restore yourself or a number... Yeah, unit equal to the number of grass tiles next to it. I, I, It seems to imply that they need to actually be missing health to gain said benefit. Hmm. The annoying thing here... Is that I don't have a way to really do this. without taking some damage. So I'm going to go for this. Yes, the cone gets filled up. But then we're going to heal ourselves for four. And we also do six damage now on the next smack. My fear was that maybe we would have some kind of a problem with that back there, but no, I don't, I don't think so. Have at least five grass tiles at the end. We could do that. Two, four. Mm. Let's just slap down this guy. And just, we'll block that out to kind of cover the mistake. Okay, good. We do retaliate. The thing is, I really want to end... I wanted to end this with all the, the grass tiles for the extra stuff. Which I guess we could just, um... Could just stall? Oh, it... I, I think I'm going to tell you that I just don't really care. About getting the, <laughs> the quest. Because he's going to fill the, the cone as well. It's just going to get kind of tedious. I'm going to redo this turn. One second. Eh. I can't go back far enough to, to fix that, it looks like. So, I'll just have this. I could use you to move around. Okay. At least the guy that's being summoned is not... Um... Awake creates grass under enemies in its line of sight and deals two damage to them. All right. We'll, we'll save you then. We'll just save all that. So, it feels weird saving that much mana, but, like, it just doesn't really matter, I guess. 
So we'll do that. This is we're just going for maximum grass coverage at this point. There's that. That gives us four. And this gives us five. And thankfully, this is not a man who is going to spread more corruption. All right, we get Impale back. Thank you. Defeat the enemy hero and collect as much Lumi Dust as you can. So they've got a couple of spells. Collect Lumi Crystals before enemies reach them to gain precious Lumi Dust, which can be spent on healing and upgrades. They will always use the highlighted only... Wait. They will always use only the highlighted skill during his turn. It's not an ordinary enemy, so try and remove his shield with your new skill and deal damage to the seven spirits. Gain shield three. Receives less damage removed after taking damage. Summon a wild stalker. A voiceless will it inflict fatigue upon dealing damage with attacks. Immune to fatigue. I mean... It's going to be a bit spooky. Wait. Collect them to gain Lumidus and heal. Wait, and heal a fatigue. Oh, it's minus one. Oh, I thought that was like minus one health. That's minus one fatigue on the... That's really nice that that's a thing. It's irrelevant for the time being, but... Alright, you got your shield on. Hmm. I do like the idea of turning you and collecting these Lumi shards. get in there. We get to break your shield, which is, you know, not the most exciting thing in the world. We can also do a damage. That helps. There's the stalker. The, sto the stalker doesn't get to attack immediately, does it? I don't think so. We could do another free damage. Two damage. Why is it? Why are you only taking one? Dealing up to two damage, increasing with distance. Gotcha. Can't really get. Uh, did I have it? I thought I had it. It's fine. Doing one to you and then coming down to smack. So let's get two on the big boy. Come down here and smack you with my hero with no retaliation, which I love. And then we come up here and we smack you with no retaliation, which I love. And then I'm going to come up here and smack nobody. Oh, the tinker does it whenever, whenever it moves. That's fine. I mean, that's really good. Hey, it stinks, but oh well. Because we also get a free W. And we got all the Lumi Dust. This is neat. God, I remember why I like this. It's it's tickling all my, uh, my fancies. Let's move in. There's two game modes, Journey and Relax. Journey allows you to unlock higher difficulty levels, and Relax aims to provide a stress-free gameplay experience. Standard, you can restart the current chapter after being defeated. I'll definitely go for that. Um, choose your guide. Oh, we just don't have any of the other ones. Gotcha. Cool. I mean, let's just... Let's crack on in. This is really neat, though. Alright, boss events. Alright, battle events. Encounter. Alright, in we go. Wow! This is a lot more stuff going on. 
on the field. At the start of each battle, you can replace any drawn cards. During the battle, you can discard a single card each turn by throwing it into the deck. Pressing the deck button lets you check the cards left at any time. And we probably don't need two of those. We also probably... These are better after setup. Yeah, I think that starting with the seeds is more logical. There may be an object hidden inside. We don't start with the tinker. Find and protect the nibblet. So it could be in here. In now. Move on down like that. Which actually would mean I can't summon down here. I can... S sure. Because then, in order for the Stalker to attack... Well, but if I move up here, that means the uh, this Stalker could get to me. Ugh. I don't want to take a uh, that big of a hit here. So the only thing is probably to actually go for the, the whip. If you're going to move, move, attack. You at least are going to only be able to hit me for two. And I'll counter attack. Because if he's on the shade, then he would have had more. Which I just don't want right now. Alright, so we have problems behind us now. We don't have the thing that does the damage at the end of each turn, do we? They do. We do, we do, we do. Okay. Restore two health. We have a new spell. Deal one damage to a unit in your line of sight. It costs one Lumi. Super worth. Summoning a Stalker, which shouldn't be able to attack. Okay. But I'll drop that down just in case. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted to get the... Uh... Oh, well. Okay. This is, a, this is just for checking. Okay, so line of sight is also a distance thing. That's an important thing to know. Holy moly! I can do two damage and end the turn since he's on grass. Move, smack, blast. I think, theoretically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it's only, it has to be where I'm looking. If I'm looking down here, I can still attack. I can attack you and I can whip here. Okay, I like that. Because then end of turn, you die by the... Yep, you die by that jazz. How much we got? Two left. I could just heal myself. I, I'm not really worried about it, though. We're not taking, like, actual uh, damage. I do kind of want to break down one of these. We have six enemies left. This card has been used once in battles. Now it's unstable. If you use it again, it'll become exhausted and excluded from your deck for the rest of the entire chapter. Interesting. That's kind of nice. Like, because the thing is, maybe I don't want another one. But I think that having a small deck is quite helpful here.
So that's grassified. If I... Oh my. If I move here... Move over. I, and I don't love this. I could technically just do one damage to you. You die by the grass. I don't love that my butt is wide open, but they shouldn't be able to attack this turn, so it shouldn't matter. So you're, you're ranged. Can attack any enemy in its line of sight after moving and rotating by any means. Can only attack in, in melee for that turn. Oh, it's not. Okay. Gotcha. It's not. Um, not it. It's fine. Let's go ahead and smack that at the very least. Is that the, uh, yep, that's who we're trying to save. Good deal. So our butt is a little bit open. I could go in and go for the smack. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. Did I, oh, I just put it back in my deck. Did I get like a, do I get Lumen, Lumen, Lumi? Do I get that back? Or what? Is there like actually a reward for it or, or nah? Okay, you're facing that way already. I think we're good. I'll just keep on healing for now. We kind of got them set up in a uh, pretty unfortunate situation. When burrows run out of enemies to summon, they'll activate the Silent Fog. Defeat the remaining enemies quickly, or your units will become fatigued at the start of every enemy turn. Gotcha. So that's a uh, an anti-stall tech. The good news is we were done. Go up. Consume a nearby grass tile to deal four damage to the occupant. Shooter. Awake. Inflict two weakness on enemies in line of sight. Four upgrade slots. Ooh. It's tough. Cost four, cost three. Hmm. I'll go for the three cost shooter. Uh, Dancing Wisps. Join them for just a little while to choose a wisp and receive three Lumi Dust. Two Wisps and six Lumi Dust. Five Fatigue for three Wisps and ten Lumi Dust. I'm a crazy man. Choose your reward. Okay, we can get start a turn, gain a shield, awake, line of uh, exposure, receive more damage, awake, gain strength. They also gain health. Oh, wait, this is... They gain an attack and a shield at the start of every turn. That's kind of exciting. Choose another one. Awake, push itself forward. End of turn, gain strength. Creates grass on movement or summon. I like that a lot. Uh, awake, become hastened. Kind of want to put them all on the same guy, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, could I? Yes, I, I could. Don't really want to put growth on the daughter, though. Or the hasten. I guess it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to put... You're the only one who can take all three of them at the same time, but... God, the seedlings are actually, like, really good. I will go for growth on a stalker. It does feel really logical. Um, I'd say hasten. Oh, you can only have one wisp. So the upgrades are separate. Gotcha. So upgrades are straight up stats. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Uh, shielded and one more damage. That I think is fine for the daughter. Come hastened. That seems kind of nice on the stalker. All right. Was it worth it? Hard to say. Probably not. I'll heal myself once with uh, with one of those. 
Defeat all enemies. Clear the board of flowers. Okay. Do I need two of those? I feel like I now I kind of want to get the... Um, I'm going to get my mover. So we don't have as much of the... Uh, Scariness on the board. You become hastened. What's your deal? Okay. You summon a new unit on death. Clear the board of flowers. I'm assuming we just need to, like... Collect them to gain regen and create... Oh! And create fog here. Okay. I did not anticipate that. I wonder how that would work with this... With this growth effect, though. Maybe be all right. Exact opposite of what I meant to do. So we could go for the attack. Take two damage back. Not really care that much. I'm fine with taking a little... A little retaliate there. As a treat. And then putting down... Stalker, we don't know where anything is going to be summoned as it currently stands. I just know I want to protect myself from you. And we'll just do one damage to you get you out of the way. Alright. Works for me. We got also the, the regen for stepping on that. Alright, they're all up there. Sue me. It's too clean. So we we do turn it into grass, but then unfortunately it immediately after turns into the penalty. Uh, if they spawn here, they'll be able to move up and smack them a bum. Alright. We're gaining regen by stepping on these two, so it's hard to be mad at it. Alright. could I just also don't care like the whip is so beneficial right now like just going for a a whip into well we could also sure kill from downtown but I don't love this is the thing Let's at least get the buff first. We get the regen too. Buff and we get the regen. Summons you. It's fine. We're healing for one. Clear the board of flowers. Okay, we've really gooped up the place. Okay, th there's the other one. Oh, man. We have another Impale, apparently, still. So we're going to be getting one from every corner. I want to make sure we get to this one down here. So if it's hastened. Has an extra move. Oh, has an extra move, but you can't use that move right now. Okay, okay. All right, well. Sure. Not a lot of great spots for me to move myself here. Just want to make sure we get that buff up. Lots of summoners. A metric butt-ton of summoners. A lot of, a lot of board space that is confusing here. Let's just cover a lot of ground, I think. Dogman. Who knows where it's gonna put this net? Yeah, I thought it might move it. Thought it might move it to behind me. They shouldn't attack though, so it's fine. All right, we have the whip, but I'm not looking at. I'm not looking at anybody right now. That's a no-brainer. Okay. I think we're good to just 
turn around smack. No, 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 no. All right. Because we shouldn't have to care. We shouldn't have to care too much. Because there's no fatigue on the line. If there was fatigue on the line, we'd care. Okay. Pull a unit in the central line of its line of sight towards itself. Awake, gain regen three. That's kind of... Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Elite, hard battle to gain a trinket. Restore all of your exhausted cards, spend Lumi Dust, remove fatigue, etc. It's pretty cool. So we can't upgrade Aya. Selfish Wisp. I think I think that makes sense on the seedling, anywho. Eh. Did that really just give it one attack? Because the Selfish Wisp put it up to four health. All right, well, let's go check in uh, on an Elite, see what that's all about. Select any cards to redraw. Okay, with this setup, what do we got here? What's your deal? You are voiceless. Okay, so the Elite's being voiceless is spooky. Exhausted. We'll become exhausted in two turns. Okay, so they're going to trade back and forth about who's exhausted. Okay, so we'll move here. I, I kind of want to keep the whips. I can roll you to try and find a different one instead, I guess. Just smacking with, with the whip from downtown just seems like a good call. Oh, that's the carving. For, that's for strength. Become exhausted at the end of its turn. I think we can kind of just go a little aggro with this. Also, since we have this, it makes more sense to... Well, whatever. Playing a little bit of chicken. Alright, so he can move and attack. But I kind of like the idea of killing this guy before anything even happens. Do that. He can presumably retaliate. Oh, God. Annoying. Okay, but now that we know that that's what we want to do, I guess we'll go for... We'll do the one damage here first before moving. Alright, that works for me. Oh no, he's sleeping. You would think he wouldn't retaliate. Oh! Does it double the health they have, or does it double their... Okay. I could have... I was going to say I could have guessed, but, like, there was no, there was no implication that it was going to be doing it that way. Um, exhaust until the end of its turn. Yeah, and then we're going to be in a little bit more of a spooky situation. I could just... I could pretty easily kill him. Okay, this is for science. This is for science. Does he go up to 30, or does he just double his health? He just doubles his health. We can work with that. We get the special thing for beating them both in the same turn. So it certainly... Okay. I would have done this differently had I known... Farewell. It's down there. 
Farewell awakens other allies, doubling their attack and health and giving them mobility. Yeah, okay. Should have should have taken a little bit longer on that one. Just forgive me. Look at all the text boxes on screen. Like, look at all the text boxes you see here. It's kind of, it's a lot. All right. Um, so you're summoned. You have fatigue. I think this is... I guess I don't want to kill then this turn. I'm fine with you smacking me. I'd prefer it to this who is absolutely just going to die instead. Which is a shame. But I can't I can't go back far enough to to not do that. Unfortunately. It just won't let me. So we have to live we have to live with that now that we know that we're not. It's fine. All right. Doesn't really matter for that. So I'll just do a little poke damage. Getting you down to just, oh wait, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. But we need to do eight damage to you. Can I do eight damage to you somehow? I feel like I probably could. Because end of the turn, that guy dies. I think I could do eight damage. Almost. Right? Four, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, we can do enough. I'm going to take fatigue. I disagree with the fact that... Okay, wait, hold on. There we go. This should happen at the same time. All right, good. He was not on grass. I thought he was on grass. I don't disagree with that fact. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so thank God for undo. We can use the buff up skill. Allies become charged when they slay an enemy. Pushes targets with the, their attacks. Huh. You gain strength if you have any Lumi left at the end of your turn. This seems really usable. Alas, alas, though. I think that is that, and that's going to be where we call it here for today. I really, really like this. If you guys want more, if you want to see, like, a, you know, clean, fresh run, a uh, little mini series or something like that, do let me know. I could be convinced very easily. I think this is very solid, and, man, uh, it's just, it's so my jam, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but alas, alas, it's out now on Steam. It's coming out in 1.0 on the 20th. So make sure to check that out. It is currently out already. Like, it's been out for a long time. But it's out in 1.0 on the 20th, uh, the more complete version. So, hey, thank you for watching. Check the channel for Roguelikes some more every single day. If that is something you're into, this is a channel you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.